cute, right? Prosec ho ho ho. <laughs> One of my good friends gave me this for Christmas with a little bottle of Prosecco. I love Prosecco. All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new, hi, my name is Misty. So I thought I would do a little mini review overview of my Bath and Body Works winter collection. So I didn't buy, obviously, I didn't buy everything from the Christmas or winter collection, but I have a decent amount here. So out of the products that I have, I am going to just give a mini little review and like give you my thoughts on each product because I have a feeling a lot of these will be on sale at this in my annual sale coming up um, this Sunday. So the 26th, the day after Christmas. And I don't know, you know, I don't know exactly what is going to be on sale, but I do, like I said, I do have a feeling quite a bit of this stuff. And this is all stuff that, that I have gotten from the winter time, this, this past winter on Bath and Body Works. So if that sounds like something that would interest you, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start out with the very first, I don't know if I remember like everything in exact order, but I'll try to kind of keep it in the order that I purchased it. So the very first product that I got from the winter collection, Christmas collection, is the Love Collection. This is the Cotton Candy Champagne. Um, so this collection was love, peace, joy, and hope, I believe. And I have smelled them all, but this is the one I really liked. This is Bubbly Rosé, sweet, sweet Strawberry, and Pink Sugar. And a lot of people were comparing this to Aqualina Pink Sugar. And I do like this one, and I like this one the best out of all of those um, other ones. None of them were bad, but this is the one that I just really loved because it's very sweet, very sugary. Um, the second one that I think that I liked the best was probably the peach marshmallow one. And then the snickerdoodle just, it was okay, but I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was like that strong smelling. But anyways, that's not about them. This is about what I have. And I absolutely love this one. So this one is very sweet, it is very sugary very bright and I would definitely say is a very 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 close resemblance to Aqualina Pink Sugar. Maybe if anything I smell the strawberry in this a lot so it's definitely a little bit fruitier but this one is really good. I in my personal opinion this is the best one in the collection so if you like very sweet very sugary scents this one was great and I absolutely love it. The next thing that I purchased from the winter collection was the Pure Wonder. And I didn't bring my bottle. Oh yeah, I did. Um, so this is the Pure Wonder. And this packaging is by far some of the most beautiful, classy packaging that I've ever seen at Bath & Body Works. I mean, this is really, really beautiful. It's like rose gold with like like these glitter inlet inset um pattern on here it is so so pretty this is ice rose star jasmine and warm white amber this smells very very pretty um is it anything like revolutionary no not really but this smells very much like a very sophisticated, classy, elegant woman. I definitely feel like it's more of one of the more mature scents. It is sweet, but it's definitely, I feel like it just has that sense of being a more of a mature scent. It is very, very pretty. I mean, I really, really like it. And I actually have the little mini perfume 
in this because it was on sale for like five or six dollars at one time and when this <clears throat> collection first came out nothing was available except the little travel perfume so I just went ahead and picked it up and I did like it so of course when I was able to I did pick up the collection so and I have the shower um, the moisturizing shower cream in this collection but I definitely recommend this I think this might be one of the I have a feeling this is like one of the permanent, like it's going to be like maybe one of the permanent um, fragrances that they keep around. I could be wrong, but I really do like this. If you like very clean, but yet it still smells very much like a, you know, a perfume kind of, kind of scent. This is definitely a good one. Um, very, very pretty. I definitely recommend checking this fragrance out if you have not already. All right, the next one that I ended up getting. So I picked up Sleigh Rides and Snuggles. And this one is um, Snow Kissed Icicles, Fluffy Balsam and Vanilla Bourbon. And I did not get anything except the Fragrance Mist because it was during a just a Fragrance Mist only sale. So I picked up a lot of the Winter Fragrance Mist during that sale. And I thought, well, if I like it, I will go back and I'll get like the matching lotion and all of that stuff. So I really like this. So I smell a lot of the Vanilla Bourbon in this. I smell a little bit of the balsam and honestly like that balsam kind of woodsy note is not necessarily my favorite but what sticks out to me with this fragrance is definitely the vanilla bourbon it smells very creamy and very warm but it is balanced really nicely by that um i guess it's the snow kissed icicles and the balsam note I really, really like this, and I would like to get the matching lotion. I never did, which you would have thought I would have gotten it during the body care sale, but I there was other things that I really wanted, so I didn't get it, but I think I might pick this up if it's available for the semi-annual sale because I made a huge mistake, and I talked about this in an older video, but I went back and I'm, I thought that I purchased the lotion, but instead I purchased Twinkling Midnight Sky because the packaging is close and I didn't have this with me and I just made a mistake and I grabbed the wrong lotion. So this lotion is Midnight Flower, Sparkling Vanilla, and Iced Blackberry. So I have the lotion in this. I never did get the matching fragrance mist. Now, I like this one. This one smells very, um, I don't know. Yes, it is very, very flowery. It is very floral. And I smell a little bit of the iced blackberry. I think this one is nice. I really do. I think it's nice. Um, it wasn't necessarily like my absolute favorite, obviously, because I did never pick up the, you know, the fragrance mist, but it's not bad. And the thing of it is, you know, these are, they're good scents, but they're not these such a distinguishable scent that like, you know, if I wore these together, I don't think it would smell like a mistake, if that makes sense. Like, they're not identical scents, but they have this same kind of vibe, if that makes sense, that I never felt the necessity to get the exact match, if that makes sense. It smells good, but there's nothing that unique about either one that, I don't know, I just, they kind of, can be paired together. So I never felt the need to get the match to either one. Um, depending, I guess, on the price, I may end up getting their match, but I don't know. They kind of smell similar to me. I'm just gonna say that. Does anybody feel that way? I don't know. And then in the same way that I did that, I accidentally got the wrong set 
I purchased Fresh Sparkling Snow first. This is Iced Pear Frozen Melon, Winter Apple, Snowdrop Blossom, and Frosted Musk. I really do like this one. Yeah, this one smells very fruity, very bright, very icy. Um, I smell the apple, and then you definitely smell the musk. And I accidentally purchased the Frosted Coconut Snowball because again, the packaging, like I, when I was purchasing the lotions, I didn't have the matching, I don't know what I was thinking. I was overwhelmed, okay? I went in the store, I was overwhelmed. I'm sure I'm not the only person that's ever done that. Um, this one is Frosted Coconut, North Pole Vanilla, Winter Freesia, Snow Kissed Woods, and Spun Sugar. Um, now let's see. I like this one too. Yeah, I like it. I think out of all of them, this is might be like my least favorite. It doesn't smell very strong to me, and it just kind of smells, I don't know, kind of, kind of, I don't know, I guess I can smell the freesia. I think it's the freesia that I smell, and it's not bad, but there's nothing like super unique and special about it. So again, I can see myself kind of wearing these together and interchangeably. Like, neither one of these, in my opinion, was that unique that like, if you wore them together, I don't feel like, I don't feel like it would be that big of a deal. So that is why I never made it a priority to go back and get the exact match because I have so many things and I don't know, they just kind of didn't smell unique enough that I felt like they needed the exact match. I hope that makes sense. I think it does, but um, yeah, they're not bad at all. They're just not super unique, if you know what I mean. All right, the next um, set that I did purchase is Fireside Flurries. And I definitely made sure and got, you know, Without a doubt, this was one on my radar that I really wanted to try, so I purchased these together at the same time. Simply for the notes, this is Toasted Marshmallow, Pink Lavender, and Cashmere Woods. And this is definitely a very sweet, like you can smell the lavender, and then you definitely smell the cashmere. A lot of people were comparing this to, um, what was it, um, bourbon, the bourbon one, Bonfire Bash, not bourbon. I had Bonfire Bash. I hated that one. I actually took it back because I could not smell anything but this burnt fiery note. Like I didn't get hardly any sweetness from it. So when this came out, a lot of people are comparing that one, but this one is so much better. This is strong and I definitely can smell like the marshmallow and it doesn't have that like fire burnt kind of note. So this one definitely is much better. It works for me. As far as marshmallow scents go, if I'm being 100% honest, this isn't like my most favorite marshmallow scent because I kind of don't get a lot of the marshmallow note except I think it's the, the cream. Okay, yes. The actual body cream, you get a lot of that marshmallow note. It is very creamy and very sweet. Whereas this, I get a lot of the lavender. So I do remember that now. This one is definitely heavier on the sweetness and the creaminess. I really wish that that translated more in the fragrance, but it's not bad at all. It is very good, it's beautiful. And I think this is one that's gonna be nice. Like, this is a good scent any time of year. I don't feel like this is necessarily like a winter Christmas kind of scent, even though it, you know, you would think fireside and flurries would be, you know, more Christmassy or wintry. Um, it's just nice and, and sweet and creamy and you get the freshness from the lavender. So I feel like you can wear this on into the new year. So I am really happy that I did get it. 
and I definitely love the um, definitely love the body cream a lot more than the actual fragrance mist. All right, so the next one I got. So at first, I ended up getting the fragrance mist and the body cream um, from this line, and this is the Vanilla Bean Noel. But I took those back because honestly, I have other vanilla scents. And a lot of people were saying that that vanilla was not very strong this year, and they were right. Um, it's not a creamy vanilla or a foodie vanilla, which I love. It's definitely more of a perfume, musky um, kind of vanilla, which is not bad. It's not that I don't like those, but it's not, you know, I have, like I said, I have other vanillas I like better. But during the body care sale, I did end up picking this up, and I'm really, really glad I did because number one, this is just a good old fashioned whipped body butter. It is not one of the glotions. And not that I don't love the glotions, but sometimes I don't want to be sparkly. And this is one of the ones that was available without all the, you know, like the glitter sparkle in the lotion. And I feel like this is a lot stronger. And I feel like their body butters always have been stronger. And back in the day, you know, whenever the line actually had a body butter, I always preferred the body butter over any of the lotions. And then the second, my second favorite was, favorite was the body creams. And then if I had to, and if nothing else was available, then I would buy the lotion. And I know a lot of people say that the body creams aren't as long lasting, but to me, that doesn't matter. What matters more is like how it comes out and how it smells. And you know, if, even if it lasts longer, if I'm not in love with the way the lotion smells of a product, it's not even worth it to me. Like I would rather enjoy the, the body cream for a shorter amount of time if that is the scent that I like the best. And I just personally have found that for whatever reason, the lotions tend to have this synthetic plastic type of smell when they first come out, when you're first putting them on. They do dry down to be, you know, a little bit better, but I always kind of get that like plastic smell and I don't like it. And I don't get that same vibe from the body creams, which is why I always usually choose the body creams. Um, but when a body butter is available, that, that's like my top favorite, but it's really hard to find those I feel anymore, especially without the Glotion. So this is great. And so I did end up picking this up because let's be honest, you know, you can always use a good vanilla body cream. You know, this will pair nicely with so many perfumes that I have. And honestly, you can mix and match a good, just plain vanilla um, body butter with so many fragrances. So this definitely was worth it. These are typically $18.50 and I got this for $5.50 or whenever, however much at the recent body care um, sale. So this is definitely a good buy and I absolutely love it. And if these are on sale at the semi-annual sale, I definitely recommend, you know, if you're not a big fan of the whole line, at least pick up the body butter because I definitely think that's worth it. The next scent that I got from the winter, um, the winter collection is the Snowflakes and Cashmere. Now I just thought I was going to fall in love with this one. This is vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. And I do like it. I think it smells really good. It does, it smells really good, really creamy. And it's got this, um, I don't know what it is. I guess it's the cashmere, but yeah, it has this very sophisticated, warm kind of scent about it. The only thing is this is not very strong in my opinion. I wish it had a little bit more of a longer lasting scent and that it came out stronger. So I did end up picking up the matching body lotion and this is one that I think the body cream was available, but I just went ahead and got the lotion because even though I prefer the body cream, um, I knew this isn't one that I'm going to wear like a ton. So 
I just figured, you know, it would be better to have it in the lotion form so it would last a little bit longer. And yeah, having the lotion and mixing it with the fragrance makes it a little bit longer lasting, but honestly, it could be a little bit stronger. Um, but it smells good. It does smell really good. It smells very, very elegant and very mature. Um, but I just, I do wish it was a little bit stronger and longer lasting. So, but the packaging is really pretty. So this one is a good one. I, you know, I've heard people say, other people say it's super strong. So that's just my opinion. Um, it's just what I smell. So it's not bad, but it could be stronger to me. All right. The next one that I purchased is the magic in the air. And this is almond flower, sparkling persimmon, white iris, whipped vanilla bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. And I love this color. You guys know, this is like a really nice, kind of like a Tiffany blue. Not exactly. Huh? Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty darn close. <laughs> um, so this one was not, I feel like I couldn't find this one online, but when I went in to the store to pick up my order, it was there. This one kind of has a, yeah, I smell a very, very um, floral note in here. And I guess it's the almond flower, not flower as in F-L-O-U-R, but like flower, like F-L-O-W-E-R. So yeah, this is very florally in my opinion, um, but then it does dry down with the creaminess from the sandalwood. And there's something almost, I don't know, aquatic about it. And I think that's the iris because in a lot of my like summery aquatic fragrances, iris is, seems like iris is always in there. So yeah, there is this fresh aquatic note in there, in my opinion. I do like it. It's definitely one that I feel is going to wear very nicely after Christmas. It doesn't have this wintry, you know, um, just a wintry vibe about it. In fact, I do feel like because of that iris in there, it does give it a very um, springy slash, you know, maybe even summery kind of vibe. So I look forward to wearing this more and I think this will smell really nice in warmer weather. So I definitely like this. And if this is at the semi-annual sale, definitely check this out. Um, it is different. It's just a different scent. Um, I feel like it is more unique. So I do like that one. And then I picked up Forever Red. Now, I don't know that this is a winter fragrance or Christmas, but this hasn't been out in a while. And I've heard so many people say they miss this. They wish they would bring it back. I'm on a, a Bath and Body Works, um, like webs, like a fan site on Facebook. And I've heard a few people talk about this, that they miss it. And I would comment to them like, Hey, I found this recently on Bath and Body Works. The only thing I can't find is the matching lotion. So the lotion was sold out online and they didn't have the lotion in store. This is Fiery Pomegranate, Red Peony, Rich Vanilla Rum, and Oak Wood. This one, I would always get confused with uh, the scent, You're the One, because they were always both kind of in a red bottle. But I prefer this scent so much more. This smells very much like a, a designer perfume almost like something Estee Lauder would come out with. Like, I don't know, maybe even like a hint. And maybe this is something that, maybe this isn't, maybe this is on purpose, but if you've ever smelled Red Door from not Estee Lauder, but that's from Elizabeth Arden, this kind of has a Red Door vibe. It's a little less uh, spicy and cinnamony than Red Door, but there is something about it that reminds me of it. But this smells really, really good. Um, I hope I can pick up the lotion or the body cream at SAS. So I'm going to look out for that, but I do like this one a lot. I think this is one that 
it's going to be nice um, all year long. It's not necessarily one that I would say is only a winter fragrance. And it is. It's just a really, really pretty scent. So if you can find this one or if you've been looking for it, keep an eye out because it is out. This was at my Bath and Body Works and it was online. So I do like Forever Red. All right, we're almost there, you guys. Last couple ones, I did pick up the Cozy Sunday Morning. This is one of the newer collections that just came out. Um, and out of all three, so there was like the Mocha collection, and then there was like one that was called Rose, and then this one was Cozy Sunday Morning. This is the one that I preferred the most. This is Fresh Lavender, Creamy Vanilla, and Soft Sandalwood. Now, does those notes kind of sound familiar? This, this smells very similar to Fireside Flurries, except you can smell the marshmallow in the Fireside Flurry, but that lavender note is so similar. So I don't know, it's, it's, it is different, but I, I feel I don't know. I think I almost prefer the Cozy Sunday Morning better. And that's crazy because y'all know I like marshmallow. So you'd think that I would really prefer the Fireside Flurries. But I don't know. This, they both kind of have a masculine kind of cologne scent, which I love. But I don't know. This lavender smells a little bit lighter and fresher. So they are similar, but I don't know. I do, I think I like this one better. I like them both. I'm gonna wear them both, I like them both, but if you liked Fireside Flurries, I think you would definitely like Cozy Sunday Morning. And the packaging's really pretty. So yeah, I'm not sad that I got this. I think it smells really, really good. And then I did get A Thousand Christmas Wishes. Um, this one is pomegranate prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugared woods. I think this is like my favorite out of all of my winter scents that I got. Um, this just smells so good. There is just something fresh and fruity, juicy about it, but then it dries down sweet. I absolutely love this one. This is one of my top scents so much. I do love it and I do have the whole collection. I have the lotion and I did get the shower gel. So definitely check this one out if it's at the semi-annual sale. And then my only mini that I got um, for myself was the hot cocoa and cream. So this is, oh, it doesn't have the notes, but I'm assuming it's cocoa and cream with like marshmallows. This one's good. This one smells really good and it smells a lot like the candle, but it is not strong at all. Like this is a scent, and I guess this is why it's like only available in a mini, but this is a scent to throw in your bag. And if you are out somewhere and you just are, you know, oh, I just wanna smell, I just wanna quick something, you know, that's what this is. This isn't one to plan your evening around or to be your scent of the night or anything like that. Uh, this is a scent to spray on your pillow before bed um, or your pajamas or to cuddle up, you know, and watch TV at night. This is a warm and cozy, yummy kind of scent, but it is not a, you know, like heavy hitter, long lasting kind of like scent to wear out or anything in my opinion. So I guess that again is why um, it's in like a mini because they never brought this out in a big one. So, oh my gosh, you guys, that's it. Oh my gosh, this, this video is 30 minutes long. I don't know if anybody's gonna watch this, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm still gonna put it out there. I hope it, this is helpful. Um, feel free to obviously fast forward if there's a scent that you don't care to hear about. I do it all the time. Um, if I'm, you know, not able to sit and watch the entire thing, I totally get it. But I really do hope this was helpful because the semi-annual sale is coming up. So I think a lot of these winter 
uh, collections will be available and they're probably going to be trying to sell them out. So maybe, you know, something that I say will help you if you're on the fence of trying to decide if you want to purchase something. I know not everybody can go in store. So I'm assuming the sale will be online too. So if you're not able to go in store, you know, maybe this will be a little bit helpful. So I hope it will be. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will, my next video after this, I'm actually going to be sharing my top 10 Bath and Body Works fragrances from the entire year. And spoiler alert, only one, only one of these made it into that top 10. So... Um, anyways, thanks all for right, watching, guys. and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.